everyone, welcome into the At Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star of the Flippin' Hippo. And today we're going to do yours and my favorite video that I do every month. This is all of the plush that sold on eBay and uh, for the month of September. So we're going to look at every single plush that sold on eBay in the month of September. I did say last month I was going to start showing you the few plush that we sell on Macari. We sold a couple a month over there. I'm going to show you those when I do what sold on Poshmark video because that has less items to show you as you can see with all these tabs there. There's a ton of bunch of plush that sold. So let's just jump on in. Um, with the all of the plush that sold, I do this a little bit differently than the what sold videos that you're used to seeing. Um, instead of so much telling you what I paid for them and everything, um, I'm just going to talk about why each one of these is either viable for you to source or not. We'll talk about brands and characters and kind of give you an idea of what plush you should be looking for. This is a Build-A-Bear. Build-A-Bear is definitely a bolo. Um, some Build-A-Bears are bread and butter, like the plain bears, the plain dogs, the plain animals. I still list those for and get 18 to $20, even for plain ones. Um, unique ones like this one. This is a Dairy Queen bear. She has, look at her nose. She is so cute. She has a little strawberry for her nose. She has a little blizzard on her foot. Uh, so unique ones like this, you definitely want to be um, on the lookout for. She sold pretty quickly. She didn't sit around for very long, and she sold for um, a best offer of 17 I would have wanted a little bit more for her, but there were a bunch of these listed, um, and people had them up for way, way, way less than $17. Um, either people don't know what they have, or they just don't know the value of their plush, or they're racing to the bottom. All right, next up we have another Build-A-Bear. This is a plain black grizzly bear. So he's a little more unique than just the brown ones or the, the regular teddy bears. I had never seen a black one like this or a grizzly bear. Um, I thought he was really cute. Look, he's kind of fat. He's got like a fat face. He's cute. So he sold for $16.87. And um, I would say that I would consider him like a bread and butter Build-A-Bear. But Build-A-Bear is definitely a brand that you guys want to be on the lookout for, especially the more unique um, or if they have like recognizable characters from pop culture, from TV shows and movies and stuff. Here's a Minnie Mouse from Disney Parks. Um, I took a best offer on this one of $10.50. Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, like your common characters, they are a little bit oversaturated on eBay and they don't sell for as much money as the more unique or harder to find characters. Um, and then additionally, Disney Parks, Disney Store, anything like that is going to be worth more than a mini from Hasbro or Mattel. Um, I pick them all up when I find them, even the oversaturated ones. Um, I believe in my plush guide I have um, some things listed as no lows that I still source and put in the store because I like a lot of volume bread and butter and filler items. Um, I wouldn't necessarily stay away from all of Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse or the common characters. Just look more for um, tags like this that are from Disney Parks or Disney Store. And then this Minnie, of course, was a little more unique. She's got lipstick on. She's dressed up. She's not your typical Minnie Mouse. Next up, we have My Melody from Sanrio. I took a best offer of 11 on her. I would consider most Sanrio plush bread and butter. Um, this is My Melody. And then you guys are familiar with Hello Kitty. They also have a frog named Kuroki. Kuroki. They have a pig. I forget its name. Um, Sanrio has a penguin also. They have, they have several animals. Um, My Melody and Hello Kitty are more common, so they're going to be worth a little bit less than the more rare items or animals. Here is uh, Aurora World, which is an okay brand. It's pretty good, depending on the animal. They do make realistic looking animals, and realistic looking animals are definitely a bolo when it comes to plush. Um, any brand, really. People just like their realistic looking animals. And then animals like this, like an ostrich, he's less common, so he's going to go for a little bit more. Um, he has a heart on his neck, too. Look how cute he is. Anyway, I would look for Aurora World animals, uh, realistic animals. 
dogs and cats do well too though and they're common um just any animal that's realistic and not cartoony this ostrich sold for $15.99 here we have an amazing squishy plushy chippy chipmunk um, I didn't source him. He came out of a mystery box. You guys may remember the two live shows I did with Robert, my plushy counterpart. Um, we bought two mystery boxes and we didn't know what we were getting into. We did get a lot of really great Pokemon plush out of those. Um, and I got like some Harry Potters. Um, but then we also got like literal poop and kind of low end bread and butter. But again, I list everything. Um, so this chipmunk sold for uh, $9.99 and it sold within like two days of being listed. It went, it went really fast. So um, I don't know that I would ever like actually source for these, but hey, if it comes in a box or a wholesale lot, list it, you know? Next up, we have a My Little Pony plush. Um, I do grab all My Little Ponies I find. I typically try to keep my cost of goods on My Little pon Ponies at a dollar or less. And that includes the hard dolls as well as the plushies. My Little Ponies are still popular. Um, certain characters are more popular than others. This is Twilight, nope, this is Rainbow Dash. Twilight Sparkle is really popular as well. She's purple, I believe, with like a lightning bolt maybe. Um, but this is Rainbow Dash. There's, um, she's got cloth hair, so she doesn't have the real, the real pony hair that the girls can play with in Braden Brush. Um, so whenever I get ones like this, I make sure I put that in the title as a keyword, cloth hair. That way, if a buyer is actually looking for the ones with the, the hair the girls can actually brush and play with, they'll know that this doesn't have it. Um, this sold for a best offer of 10. And one other quick tip when it comes to My Little Ponies. If you ever have one and you don't know the character's name, um, these are called Cutie Marks. C-U-T-I-E. And you can just Google Cutie Mark Cloud Rainbow Lightning, um, whatever their mark is, and you will be able to pull up what character you have. Here we have a Care Bear. This is the um, Share Bear with the two little lollipops. And just like My Little Ponies, you guys can search for their tummy marks and find out what bear you have. Um, this bear is kind of small. She was only about eight inches big. You can see her with her, with the measuring tape there. Uh, she sold for a best offer of 11. And um, the bears that are smaller like this, they don't sell for as much. Also, this is a brand that's, um, Kelly Toy does better. This is Play Along. Um, but the really big ones do really well. And the ones that I've had the best luck with were, um, Funshine Bear, the yellow one with the sunshine on her tummy, and Cheer Bear. That's the one with the rainbow. And I've had jumbo ones of those, like over a foot big, over a foot tall. And they sold for like 20 plus shipping. So look out for the giant ones. These small ones are great though for bread and butter. Hard Rock Cafe Bear. This just happened to be in a lot I bought out of a yard sale a couple years back. I bought the, the entire lawn full of Hard Rock Cafe Bears. There were Boyd's Bears. There was uh, Winnie the Pooh and other Disney. Um, I just bought everything he had. I wouldn't specifically go out and look for hard rock cafe bears um i think they just sit for too long their price is like right along the lines of bread and butter this one sold for 9.89 on an offer um but they just sit forever they just take so long next up we have a blue m m so um m m's are good to look for this guy sold for 15. Um, the more common, like the red one doesn't do as well. The yellow one doesn't do as well. But if you find like the blue ones or if they have costumes on, or if you can get a whole set of them, um, and you want to look for M&Ms on the tag to make sure they're official. Next up, we have a Wild Republic Quail. Wild Republic is definitely a brand you want to be looking for. They are also, um, K&M International. You can see right here on this tag. Let me show you that. So K&M International and Wild Republic are the same company. Um, you can use their names interchangeably. I think Wild Republic is more well known. 
and they make a lot of realistic looking animals so I always tell people this is a good brand to look for this little quail made noises as well so here's a cat that came out of the mystery boxes again that I got with Robert this is a Lumo Stars cat it sold pretty fast also it sold for um, $11.24 uh, but it went pretty fast here is a Wild Republic here's another Wild Republic this is a peacock um, they had no tags on it but I knew it was a Wild Republic because I have had several of these peacocks in the past Sometimes Wild Republic animals will come with tags from specific zoos that they sold in. And I did have a peacock from the Pittsburgh Zoo at one point. This sold for $19.68. Next up we have a Steelers Bear. I believe I picked this up at the Goodwill. Um, just because it was only $0.50 cents and because it was Steelers. Um, typically animals that have sports teams or paraphernalia on or shirts or whatever they do pretty good he didn't take that long to sell um, I took a best offer of 12 here's a Disney store Elsa so Elsa and Anna and Olaf don't do that well anymore they used to like last I think it was last year when Frozen 2 came out um, they were flying off the shelves people were buying them up uh, but now they're kind of oversaturated and the movie's not as popular anymore. Um, but since this is Disney Store, I did grab it. And she sold for $13.49. Here we have a California Raisins Vintage Applause plush. And I really was kind of disappointed when I comped him. Um, I thought he'd be worth a lot more. He sold for $12.18. Um... I really thought he'd be worth a lot more, but that's okay. So, Applause Vintage Plush. I'll show you the tag. Typically has a date on it. Uh, this one's 1987, and they're typically folded in half like this. Like, it's one long tag folded in half and attached to the plush. So, if you see that, you know it's a vintage. Uh, this is a fish that I just picked up because it was so unique looking. I had never heard of this brand. Um, but it kind of goes along like with um, clothing when I tell you guys sometimes it's not about brand if you find a shirt with really great graphics or something really unique about it um, so I did pick him up just because he was so unique looking and nice and he sold within a couple of days of being listed uh, for $13.50 on a best offer here we have a Disney Zoom Zoom Winnie the Pooh these are very small or this one is very small. Some Zoom Zooms are big. I had a giant Minnie Mouse one at one time. But they do have these teeny ones. This is three inches. Um, he sold for eleven eighty one on the best offer. Um, kind of okay for bread and butter. The bigger Zoom Zooms, of course, get more money. And then we have a Stingray from SeaWorld. This is like a realistic animal. And it's from SeaWorld. You can see the official tag and it's vintage. So this sold for $13.12. And Melissa and Doug is a brand you guys want to keep your eyes out for. Um, they have larger plush. They have puzzles. They have different toys that all different price points. So you can comp it if you find it at a yard sale or out in the wild. Um, they have, you know, all price ranges. This little cow puppet went for $9.99. Um, but I've seen people sell the puzzles for 30 bucks. So just keep your eyes out for Melissa and Doug. And if you're not keen on bread and butter and filler items like this, you can always comp it before you source it. Speaking of Sanrio, this is a Hello Kitty. This one has Easter Bunny ears. Um, I do try to stay, uh, stray away from plain Hello Kitties anymore. I used to pick up every Hello Kitty I ever found. Um but she is a little bit oversaturated. So if I see one that's unique like this with the Easter Bunny ears, um, I had a really big one from Build-A-Bear that sold for like 20 bucks. Um, but the plain Hello Kitties, um, I kind of try to stay away from. This one sold for 10.99. 99 
Here we have Clifford the Big Red Dog. So this is a recognizable character. Of course, there are scholastic books about Clifford, but he also has a TV show on PBS. And he's got little Emily with him. He sold for 14 and I always try to pick up any animals that I see that are recognizable from kids' books or TV shows. Here's a Winnie the Pooh, speaking of a character that's oversaturated, but I just had to pick him up because he's Disney store, you can see right there, and he was really big. He's 18 inches big, or 16 inches big. Um, and he's from the Disney store. He did weigh over a pound on his own, so I did charge calculated shipping on this one, and they paid $12.99 as well in addition to the shipping, or they paid shipping in addition to the $12.99. That's how it should be said. Next up, we have a Disney Jungle Book, King Louie, the orangutan from the Jungle Book. He was pretty cool, so I had to pick him up. Sold him on a best offer of $13.50. Uh, Coca-Cola bears are a no-lo. Um, I've had different animals from the Coca-Cola collection. There was like a seal and a penguin. Um, they did a little bit better as far as um, speed of selling. The polar bears just sit and sit and sit. This one sold for $10.80. Um, I definitely do not pick up Coca-Cola bears anymore. They just don't do well. Here's a Coles Cares Dr. Seuss Horton. Here's a Who whale that's a mouthful Coles cares is an okay brand um it's pretty much bread and butter some of the characters do better some of the characters sell faster or fetch a higher price um Coles cares is an okay brand like i said i just feel like you just want to pay attention to what characters you're getting uh Coles cares pluto Minnie mouse you know winnie the pooh aren't going to do as well as this whale that's a little more unique and not saturated and he sold for $16.99 so that was a nice find uh, here's another Hello Kitty she sold for $11.99 uh, Small Peep sold for $8.99 um, the small peeps are kinda like eh, low-end bread and butter but if you find the really big peeps if you guys remember that big purple rabbit I had last month or in August um, snatch those up for sure. And here's a Build-A-Bear outfit. I'm always telling you guys, unless the Build-A-Bear is themed and it has on an outfit that clearly is meant to go with with the theme, like if you buy a Beauty and the Beast, obviously you want to leave her in her iconic yellow dress and him in his clothing. But if you just have like a regular animal in a regular outfit i always say strip them down and sell them separate you will make more money that way the outfits do sell and um you can have two items or two sales that way and make a little bit more money i did sell this as a full outfit it's got the little hawaiian shirt the little khaki shorts sunglasses and a backpack however the backpack had damage to it one of the straps had come undone. So I just disclosed that and um, sold it as is. There's the sunglasses. So I sold this for $22 on a best offer. The whole outfit sold for $22 and then I'm still gonna sell the bear. So um, definitely strip your animals down, sell everything separate. Uh, Gans Webkins, you guys, they're hit or miss. I talk about them a lot on this channel. They come with codes, and um, whether or not it has an unopened code never seems to affect the price. I've had certain animals that sold for upwards of $20 that didn't have a code, and some with codes that only comp around 10 or 11 I really think it depends on the animal. Um, again, cans are hit or miss. I find them for $0.50, cents and I buy them all up, bring them home, and I list them. I like bread and butter. I like filler items. If you don't, you will want to comp them before you buy them, just to see what you're getting. Um, but I bring them all home. This guy sold for a best offer of $9. Here we have Diego from Ice Age, Continental Drift. 
He sold on a best offer of twelve sixty five. He's just an example of a recognizable character from a kid's movie. Here's another Build-A-Bear um, piece of clothing. This is just a tiny little skirt all by itself. Very small. One item. Um, so I listed it for $9.99 free ship. A classic toy company dog. Um, typically I do really well with classic toy company. I do better obviously with um, not dogs. Like dragons and mythical creatures and stuff. This guy sold for $9.37. I found this witch, so I picked her up um, because we were getting to that time of year. She did sell in September. Um, I listed her and she sold within like a week of being listed. She has some flaws, which I did disclose and show photos of, but she still sold pretty fast and she sold for $19.99 and she doesn't even have a brand. She's just like a generic witch. I don't even think she had tags. Um, and she had damage. So she was generic. She had flaws. Um, but she is a witch and it is the right time of year. So if you guys see stuff that's um, seasonal, always pick it up. And Paw Patrol, a very popular show. Some of the characters are super popular and go for a lot of money. This is Skye. She sold for $20.99. Um, and she's kind of small too. There's one that's like a superhero. I forget his name. He he comps for like 40. Um, and then your more common ones like Marshall the Fire Dog and Chase. They still sell for a, a good 12 to $16 depending on the size and sometimes even more. So keep your guys' eyes peeled for the Paw Patrol. They are very popular. And last but not least we have a chimpanzee that vibrates. I think it's meant for like a soother for a baby. And I did say that he was tested and he works. And um, here's an example of how I list electronic plush. I do not send batteries with them. So I always just say tested and works. I let them know what re batteries are required and that they're not included. You can ship batteries domestically. In the United States, they just want you to take them out of the animal and put them separate, like in a bag or in the box with the animal. But if you're shipping internationally, you cannot even have batteries in the package. I just choose not to let, let them um, ship at all. I test all my electronic animals. I check them for battery corrosion to make sure they're cleaned up, make sure they work. And then I just tell the buyer what batteries they're going to need when they buy it. And I don't mess with shipping them. Um, but you can if you'd like to. Just make sure you take them out of the animal and put them in separately. Um, well, that's all of the plush that sold in the month of September on eBay. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. really helps the channel out. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe. Help us feed a hungry hippo. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There is a link down below for you to join the Facebook group. And you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Flippin' Hippos. Uh, until next time, go be productive, guys. Go make some money. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Y'all are the best. Bye.